We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Cap or no cap, Melo made a Before big Before the big three, the Miami big three, mm -hmm. it was talks about me and Braun, like, because we, we were out of me, him, and D-Wade. Like, it was me and him close, and then it was like me and D-Wade close, and mm -hmm. then Braun and D-Wade was close, but we never was like all three, you know, like, locked in until we started going and getting old, you know what I mean? And then we had like experiences, played on the you know, world championship team. And I think that's when it kind of really started to like blossom. And it was, I think it was because we lost together. We felt the same pain. We felt the same sentiment. So that brought us all three together. With Braun, it was always like, yo, yo we got we to make it happen. Like some way, somehow the opportunity comes, let's make it happen. We just never knew where. Are you going to New York? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I ain't going to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> like, you coming to Denver? Like, then the conversation got serious after like 06, 07, 08. Well, it was supposed to be Bosch and Wade and then me and Braun, mm -hmm. like going, some, going somewhere. We just couldn't find out where. We wanted it to be New York. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere. Oh, Chicago. Chicago was in the fold. If we going to find a place, then let it be go to Chicago. Like, you know, I'm in Denver, you're in Cleveland. Free agency hit, let's try to make it work. So at the time of the collective bargaining agreement, so I didn't understand contracts and, yo, know, three years, five years, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that lockout. I, I knew a little bit, but I wasn't really business savvy enough to understand what was about to happen. So in my situation, when I was in Denver, I didn't want to leave. So why take a three-year deal? No, I'm locked into this five-year deal. And it was like five years, like, I don't know, 85 some like that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I got ridiculed for taking a five-year <laughs> deal. <laughs> like what? You know where I, you know where I come from? I'm not leaving no money on the table. I'm happy. I'm winning. I'm in Denver. We building something. We got new powder blue uniforms. Like we we popping right, out here. Right. Right. So I don't want to leave this to go do something that I might regret later down the line. And also at that time, I wasn't ready to go partner and team up with nobody mm -hmm. because I was building my own in Denver. So to leave my own and go team up with somebody, it wouldn't have worked because we were all young and like, and we all going down our own path. So mm -hmm. nah, I'm I'm over here. Like whatever y'all gonna do, y'all gonna do. So I get the call and they say, yo, it's a lock lockout's coming. Yo, we taking a three year deal. So right, let me think about that. Right, hit y'all back, man. Really. <laughs> hit y'all back. <laughs> I called my agent at the time. Three year deal. There's no conversation. I'm staying. I'm taking a five year eighty five. I'm staying in Denver. I'm happy, boom, boom, boom. So they was trying to finagle how to make that shit work. And then it was like, I think one of them had to take like 16 and the other one 17 and the other one like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. all of them had to really sacrifice, which I take my head off to them for doing that because that's the hardest shit to leave at that point in time. So when they did it, it just made everybody like, oh, Melo, you could have been the fourth one. I'm going to keep it a buck. Imagine me at 23 years old, 24 years old, being the fourth option on the team when I'm leading my team every single year. Like, I'm finding my way in this league, and you want me to leave that and go be a fourth option. No I chance. don't know mentally yeah. how I was going to be ready for that. It ain't got nothing to do with money. I wouldn't, I'd have had a different role. I wouldn't, you know, I'd have had to figure out my role on that team. These are alphas <clears> that we all coming together. Like, Ron is an alpha. D-Wade is an alpha. Don't mind give Chris Bosh enough credit. Chris Bosh was ridiculous in Toronto. So for them three to go, I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. Like, I can't be that full fit. Hell no. Mm -hmm. So I'm cool. I'm out here. I'm out here in Denver. <laughs> so the conversations always was like that was always a what if the Miami, but people don't look at it like that. It's just oh, Melo, Melo, then Melo was selfish. So he took five years. He took the money, and he could have had three rings. And man, all that a lot of times don't be worth it. They ain't gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you they made it worth it because they figured it out. They worked it out. They won consistently. They created something down there. Who knows if that would have been the same case if I would have went down there. We look at the Lakers in 03. They assembled Shaq, Kobe, Gary Payton, Carl Malone, and then they had a bench that was nice. Come on, that shit don't always work like that. All right. Uh, cap or no cap, man. <clears throat> did did Melo, uh, you know? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, nah, I'm going to say no cap, man. Okay, no cap. All right. Uh, wow, I'm Wolf. No I mean, for for you know certain things that he 
He he touched on. Look, Yan said, "Cut the motherfucking cap." <laughs> <laughs> now, for certain uh, things that he touched on, he touched on. Um, Tilla said, "No cap." Clutch said, "No cap." Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, first of all, there's, there's certain things that I agree with. You know what I'm saying, first off. At that time, like I don't think we understand. Like Melo was, Melo was wilding. Right. He was. He was. He was smoking shit in Denver. You know what I'm saying like, is that's difficult. Now I mean to be that young at that age. You know what I'm saying and and you know have that that thinking beyond the trees mentality. You know right. What I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Especially when you just touch down, you just get in the bag. You. you know what I'm saying like, he young. You feel me? And on top of that, like he mentioned in there, it was supposed to be D Wade and Bosch when she right, yeah, him. yeah, and him and LeBron. So it wasn't even gonna be all three. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know how that would have worked out. You know what I mean? And I'm glad he brought up that that example at the end. You know what I'm saying, even though that was a little different. With the Lakers, Gary Payton and Carl Malone, because they was towards yeah. the the end of their careers. Know what I'm saying, yeah. But that'd be tough though. Now I mean to put Braun, Melo, yeah. Wade. Know what I'm saying like all them three, right? That young, all of them that young at that. Know what I'm saying like at that point. You gonna go to a team and be the third, fourth option like that? That's tough. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I, I rocks with that. I ain't gonna lie. That's no cap. The way he broke it down at first, I always thought Melo was capped for that too. Though I thought he's capped out for that. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, Melo should have. But I get it. I get it. Fourth option is wild. First, that's that's crazy. Right. The fourth option on a team is like, it's from like going Derek going White. From- Right, but from being the first. Yeah, that's crazy. Now you became the oh, Derek White. Hands team. down, right. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, you know what I mean? But it's just not a Carmelo Anthony kind of vibe, you know what I mean? It's like, hold up, nah, bro. Especially not Melo at, you know what I mean, 23, yeah. 24 years old. That's wild. Yeah, I, everybody's saying the same thing, you know what I mean? Except for, yeah, yes, and he capped out. Yo, yo, so you said he should have went there. I mean, it would have been nice for him to get a ring, but... I mean, it ain't like they delivered. They promised neither. They said like what they said like five, six rings. Right, but look, but that's another thing that he touched on too, which made you know, which is a fact. Just because he would have went over there, don't mean they would have got a ring. Right, 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 right. Yeah, Dylan you know what Brooks two point like, like he said, they had to go figure that joint out. You know what I'm saying, yeah, and they only figured that one of them rings. They only figured out because of Kawhi <clears throat> missing a free throw. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying, bro. You know what I mean? Saying one, if they made that free throw, it, it, it went out. Yeah, I did allow, yeah, I did allow a, a, a offensive rebound. You know yeah, we did, we did, we did. You know what I mean, allow nigga to hit Ray Allen wide open in the corner. You know what I'm saying, but, I get you, but free is free, bro. Free throw, you right though. No excuses. You, you know what? You right. 